Hey guys, it's your girl Beautiful Brown Baby Doll and today I'm going to show you how I achieved my rendition of the braided based Havana Twist. First, the hair that I'm using is the finger comber hair, which is the Havana hair. I also like Marley braiding hair for this and there's other types of hair. Find those in the links below. So before the question comes, why Havana hair? I've done my research and I just learned that this was a lighter option. Because I work out a lot, I thought it would be a good hair option for me. But again, Marley braid as well as other types of braiding hair will work. As far as products, I'm using a mixture of the Pure Raw Shea Butter as well as the Be Mine Curly Hair Butter and the Moisturizer. I've placed all those links below as well. Finally, you're going to want regular butterfly clips as well as rat tail comb and scissors for cutting the hair. To prepare my hair for these extensions, I shampooed my hair well, I deep conditioned and set under my bonnet dryer, and then I also moisturized and did leave-in conditioner. For the purpose of this, you'll also be using moisturizer and adding it as you're twisting your hair. So you'll want to make sure that you have at least that. As far as stretching, I did not use any heat to stretch my hair. In fact, my hair was still damp from washing it the night before. So basically, I washed it, deep conditioned it, twisted it that night, took it down, and went ahead and twisted on damp hair. And it was fine. To get started, you're going to braid based on how thick you want your twist. I want mine a little smaller, so I'm only going with about three pieces of hair. I'm also going to split those pieces in half. Mind you, I have not cut the hair in half at all. These are full pieces of hair straight from the bag. As you pull that hair apart, you're going to also want to make sure that the ends are not blunt. You're kind of pulling the hair from end to end to ensure that the ends are kind of scraggly. This is what's going to keep your hair from unraveling as you twist the hair. This also makes for a more natural look. So your individual pieces of hair should go from that to that. So I'm starting off with a simple part across the back. I don't worry about it being completely straight. No one's going to see the back of my head. But then I part each section into smaller sections. I prepare each section by mixing my moisturizer, butter, and shea butter and pulling it down the length of my hair. This helps to protect it and keep the hair moisturized. Now taking that piece of hair, which is, remember, scraggly on the ends, that's gonna be fine. I take it and attach at the very top almost twisting in the beginning to my natural hair. I am going into a braiding motion. I will braid a little less than an inch down. Once I've braided about that inch down, I can now begin to twist the hair. Remember to twist pretty tight. I almost am twisting each section individually. As you can see, it almost appears as if I'm wrapping the hair around my fingers. Make sure that you're not twisting so tight that it causes bumps in your twist or pushes your own natural hair out and makes it stick out of the twist. So you wanna have like a perfectly tight twist, but not too tight. Because the Havana twist hair allows you to not have to dip it in hot water, you'll want to make sure that you still twist all the way to the ends. Even with the Marley braid hair, twist all the way to the very end. And for some people, it might be best to even dip the ends in hot water to ensure that they're sealed. 
Again, the whole idea is to make sure that that twist is smooth all the way down to the ends. I'm gonna give you a closer view of my second twist and me attaching it and braiding and twisting down to the end. Whatever. just wanted to show you how I do the edges so I don't pull my edges out the edges are going to remain pretty big or pretty uniform with the rest of the hair you're going to perform the same process see that's my hair and then I'm actually braiding the extension hair on top I'm going to perform the same thing and braid it a little less than an inch down and then begin twisting. I'm ready, I'm ready. If you have medium to longer length natural hair, your hair will tend to stick out of the twist. Right where my hair starts to end, I really start to roll the hair between my fingers and twist it just a little bit tighter. Remember, not too tight because that can make your twist buckle. Again, make sure that you leave the very ends and only clip off what's very, very scraggly. And here's your final product. You have these beautiful twists that I think are very, very protective. They're soft. I feel like the Havana hair is a bit lighter on my head than the Marley braid hair, but again, either will do. These feel really nice. They're durable, they're bendable, and I think they go in most any style you'd like. I know y'all can tell I'm feeling myself. These are just super adorable to me, and I can't wait to wear them during workouts and everything else. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's tutorial. Beautiful brown baby doll, peace. Oh, 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 oh,